Welcome back. We're talking about the Attack Simulator tool in Microsoft 365, the new version of the Attack Simulator tool. And in this video, we're going to go through another simulation like we did in the last one. And this time we're going to talk about LinkedIn attachment. Now this one's pretty cool. This is where it's a hybrid of a credential harvest. A malicious actor creates a message with a URL in an attachment and then inserts the attachment into a message. When the target opens the attachment, they're represented with URL in the actual attachment. And if the target clicks on that URL, they're taken to a website. The website will have an input box luring in their username and password. And then that website's disguised to look like it's a well-known trusted web page. And of course, I can click on learn more about the MITRE technique that's associated with this, which is phishing. So pretty cool. So let's go ahead and launch this type of attack. So we're gonna choose the radio button here and click next. Give it a name and click next. And then we're going to, going to choose a payload. Now I'll do another video where I talk about how to create a payload. But for now, I'm going to choose coronavirus stimulus. That sounds pretty interesting. And here I can see a preview of what that uh, payload might look like. Here I can see what the attachment might look like as well. And then I can see the simulations associated with it. So let's go ahead and choose that and click next. I'm going to target all users in my organization as opposed to being selective. And then I'm going to tell it to assign the training for me automatically and have the training due date 30 days after the simulation ends. And then here's my landing page and I can customize it as I see fit. I can even see a preview of what the landing page might look like. Let's go ahead and click next and we're going to go ahead and launch this ASAP. So Let's give this a few moments to launch and we'll be back with the actual simulation. And here is the email that got sent. So check it out. It's from Stimulus Funding. Looks kind of legit with that email address. Uh, the verbiage here looks kind of legit except for this variable. Something happened there. Uh, check it out. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and click on the attachment in here. And here's the attachment titled to me, which it, that's awesome. And uh, let's go ahead and click on the link in the attachment. It's going to open a new tab, and it's going to take me out to look at that, a sign-in page for Azure Active Directory. Now look at the web address. That's wrong. It should be login.microsoftonline.com. But hey, you know what? I'm an end user. I don't know any better, so I'm going to type my username here. When I type my username, it does not redirect me to my company's background image, nor my company's logo. That's a red flag. And again, that address is definitely wrong. But hey, I don't know any better. I'm an end user. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in and look at that. I've been fished. And this is telling me a little bit about uh, what's happening. Again, I can see some training here about the document and uh, it's letting me know what's going on. Now, as I scroll down here, I can see that a training has been assigned to me. When I click on go to training, it's going to take me to the portal and show me that training. And now I can go through the training just like I did in my last video. And it will even take me to a uh, interactive training here where I have to review it. And isn't that nice? Look at that. And I can see some best practices for protecting myself against this type of an attack. And then at some point here, I have to take a quiz and then I can respond to that. So pretty cool. Now, if we go back to the admin portal, And we bring up that particular simulation. So let's go ahead and pull it up. You can see I ran some other ones here, but here is the last one we just ran. And I could see some statistics about it. And I can see that uh, attachment is open 4% of the time. And as I drill into this, I can click on view users and I could see who was compromised. So let's go ahead and look at this compromise column. Oh, there's Patty. She's been compromised. Here I've got a nice timeline view of uh, when she actually opened the email, opened the attachment, clicked on the link inside the attachment, logged in, supplied her credentials, and then here's the training that was targeted to her. So that's nice to see that. And this gives me a way to monitor this particular type of simulation. So that's pretty cool. We'll talk more about reporting later on in another video. Okay, so that's how you simulate a LinkedIn attachment. So folks, in the next video, we're going to talk about link to malware, and we will see you in the next video. Take care.